Jesus had just finished teaching in the synagogue in Capernaum, where he spoke with authority and amazed the people. As he left the synagogue, Simon Peter invited him to his home. The sun was beginning to set, casting a golden hue across the small village. The air was filled with the gentle hum of evening activities, but there was an urgency in Simon's steps. His mother-in-law was gravely ill, and he hoped that Jesus would help her. Upon arriving at Simon's house, Jesus immediately noticed the worry etched on Simon's face. They entered the modest home, where the air was thick with the anxiety of the family members gathered around. Simon's mother-in-law lay in bed, her face pale and her breathing labored. She was burning with fever, too weak to even lift her head. The room was dimly lit by a few oil lamps, casting flickering shadows on the walls. Without hesitation, Jesus approached the bed. The room fell silent as he reached out his hand and gently touched the woman's forehead. He spoke with authority, rebuking the fever as if it were an intruder. His words carried a power that was felt by all in the room. Immediately, the fever left her and she opened her eyes, her strength returning as if she had never been ill. As soon as the fever left her, Simon's mother-in-law rose from her bed, full of energy and life. Her gratitude was overflowing, and she immediately began to serve them. She prepared food and drink for Jesus and the disciples, her movements quick and joyful. The atmosphere in the house transformed from one of worry to one of celebration and praise. As the news of the healing spread through the village, people began to gather outside Simon's house. The sun had fully set, and the night sky was dotted with stars. One by one, the sick and possessed were brought to Jesus. The crowd grew larger, filling the narrow streets and pressing close to the house, all seeking his healing touch. One by one, Jesus laid his hands on the sick, and each was healed. Demons were cast out with a word, fleeing in fear from the power of the Son of God. The night was filled with the sounds of rejoicing as people experienced freedom and healing. The presence of God was palpable, and many who witnessed the miracles believed in him that night.